what's up, Sammy here. Today, I'm going to be unboxing something extra heavy. <laughs> Whoa, be careful. There's lots of thousands of dollars. <laughs> yes, that's right. Today, I feel all the excitement that child does when seeing their favorite toy again. But this time, it's not just some toy. It's an incredible real 4K laser TV that's ultra affordable the Jango U2. Last time I did a review of their O1 series LED projectors, which I can easily recommend for its excellent performance. While for this TV, like I said in the Jango U2 Facebook group, I would die for it. This thing is just blowing my mind. I think it's a game changer and it's definitely worth taking a deeper look into it. So in this video, I will go over the unboxing, design, my own first-hand viewing experience, and finally, of course, I answer all the questions you have left under my post. So make sure to watch till the end. Without further ado, let's get started. When you open the box, the first thing you see is a small box that includes a remote control, a charging cable for the U2 laser TV, and two grommet holders. And this is a prototype. There's no manual or warranty card included yet, but the fish box surely will. After we remove the foam, the U2 laser TV is revealed. It's quite heavy and weighs around 14 kilograms. But you know, weight sometimes means quality. So why don't we take a close look at this beast? On the front, there are two indicators beside the Dynaword logo. One is the infrared sensor and the other is the smart photosensitive sensor. A little higher up are the two 10 watt tweeters and according to Jemago, this design helps generate 360 surround stereo sound. There are also two 15 watt 4 range speakers inside. We'll test out the sound performance a little bit later. Unlike the YouTube Pro version that was released in China earlier this year, where the speakers are floating, giving it a really high tech feel, these two are fixed. But hey, the YouTube Pro is much more expensive than the U2, so I can live with that as long as they can produce good sound. There's a switch button on top as well. You touch once to power on and touch twice to turn off the machine. Here, this black thing beside the switch button is the eye protection motion sensor. It's actually very sensitive. And of course, the most important part, the lens. As for the rest, there are only some logos on the top right corner. Moving to the back, in addition to some product information, we see all the ports which include a power socket, a line, optical, two HDMI, a service, and a USB-A. To the side, we see the air inlet and another USB port. On the other side is the air outlet. Make sure you don't block them while the TV is on. As for the bottom, we see two lifting brackets, one for protection mounting hole, two mounting screw holes, and two stands. That's the design. Unlike those bulky or strange looking laser projectors, the U2 looks rather elegant and premium and has a very high tech feel to it. So while it's not in use, you can display it on a table and it becomes an eye-catching centerpiece in your decor. As good as it looks, how's the performance regarding both the software and hardware? Yes, I hear loud and clear, my friend. On the software side, like I said before, the U2 I'm reviewing is a prototype, so I'm not going to do a very detailed review here like I did for the O1 series. The Jimgo team is still working very hard on refining everything. The operating system is called Nuna OS, but this TV doesn't have a companion mode like the O1 series does. It has a water brightness adjustment, the built-in sensor can detect ambient light conditions and intelligently adjusts the brightness. This feature is super important for the U2 because it has an up to 3600 angst lumens of brightness when paired with an AR screen. That's crazy bright. We'll talk about that later. It also has an eye protection mode. Like I said before, it's quite sensitive. Whenever someone approaches it, the product will quickly lower the brightness to protect the user's eyes from getting hurt by the laser source. But it is missing one feature though, namely the keystone correction. So you have to do some manual adjusting if you haven't bumped the device. I'm okay with that for two reasons. First, the U2 is heavy and it cannot be moved easily by lead bump. And second, water keystone correction is normally done at the expense of image quality. While for true movie enthusiasts, you probably won't allow that to happen. And speaking of image quality, how can we overlook that? The U2 provides truly stunning image quality 
Unlike other laser TVs that utilize single color laser sources, the Jimco U2 uses a tri-color laser source which allows for a wider color gamut of 140% BD 2020 color standard. Translation for that ticket jargon, it is able to display subtle differences between similar colors, which only TVs cannot. It keeps the details crisp and lifelike. It also has a high contrast ratio for rich black levels and remarkable picture depth. Check it out! It's super bright as well, you can still enjoy it even when there is a significant amount of ambient light in your room. Broad images still look punchy and vibrant with surprising rich colors and a level of eye-catching intensity that project is just aren't supposed to be able to manage in a light room. By the way, I haven't even tried ambient light rejection screen. Let me know and I will compare the quality in my next video. Gamers should take note of the Jamgo U2 too, though it doesn't say it has a game mode. Its input lag is low enough even for professional gamers, with no detectable delay between your actions and what you see on screen. <laughs> Another impressive part is the 360 surround sound audio system, which is co-created with Dana Audio. The design of the two speakers makes the sound feel nice and direct, fill your room with immersive audio, so that no matter where you sit, you will always be able to enjoy the best audio experience. What's more, the U2 allows you to add an external speaker via Bluetooth. Even without one though, the overall sound of the U2 is better than many of this year's LCD and OLED TV releases. Why not spoil yourself a little bit? One thing you may care about is the noise level. Well, though the machine looks big, the noise is the lowest among all the projectors I've tested. I barely notice any noise when watching the movie. During my review test with the unit, I tried very hard to find any disadvantages. I just cannot. If you have to name one, then the only downside I can think of is maybe it's in a crowdfunding campaign now, which means you may have to wait for some time to get your perk delivered. But hey, if that's the only downside about the product, then you know it's going to be awesome and worth a shot. While there are lots of other big brand laser TVs that deliver great performance, they are much, much more expensive than the U2, which could prevent you from pulling the trigger due to cost concerns. But a Jamga U2's crowdfunding price of 2099 US dollars is basically steel. Just thinking of the stunning image quality, the unbeatable sound, many smart features, and especially the 50,000 hours of lamp life. Which means if you watch for 4 hours a day, you can use it for 34 years straight. Holy cow, I can literally pass this machine to my grandson. It's game changing. Totally worth every penny. If you've never had a laser TV before and one want to get you started, this would be a great option. And if you are interested in this product, please check out the link in the description and don't miss the chance. I'm Sammy, I will see you in the next one.